Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you're looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. So recently I was putting together a list of the videos that I wanted to film before the end of 2022 and I thought what better way than to do a video all about the best lipstick launches of the year. Um, a lot of my channel has to do with lip swatches. I know a lot of you are here because you like seeing those collection swatches and reviews. So I thought that I would talk a little bit about my favorite ones from this year. There's a ton of different lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff that I use that were released prior to this year but I just wanted to focus on these. Honestly this year didn't have quite as many lipstick launches as I thought it did. I could have sworn there was way more but I guess not. I just thought that I would show you guys the different lipsticks and also some of the outfits that I'm planning on wearing for a lot of my holiday parties coming up. I have a lot of Christmas and holiday parties coming up so I've been putting together like the makeup looks that I want to wear and also the outfits that I want to wear with those makeup looks and a big thing with a lot of these looks are the lipsticks and like the finish of the lipstick. I don't know about you guys, but that's my favorite part of makeup in general. And for me this year, a really big thing with my outfits and like my look are textures. So I'm really into glosses. I really like a good like bold matte lip, you know? Recently, I've been really liking more neutral looking outfits, but a really big emphasis on the different textures. So satin is a really big one for me right now. I have some pieces that I have from Express and I've been obsessing over all of these like textures and cuts and stuff. So the first thing I have, I actually bought in two different colors, but this is a gray pair of satin pants. I'm obsessed with these. They're really long. They come all the way down to the floor and then they kind of flare out. I feel like it's really nice and flowy, but it also kind of puts a look together and it makes it very festive. I think satin is just a beautiful texture, a beautiful fabric to wear for holiday parties. And I like mixing the fabric of these satin pants with different types of fabrics of tops too. But also, since I've been really loving the satin trend, I also have this halter top. It's like this black ruched halter top. You can tie it several different ways. And in the back, it does ruche, so it gives you a lot of flexibility because for me, I like eating during the holidays, so I need a little extra room in my clothes. And it just kind of holds everything together as well. I love this, especially with the satin pants. That outfit is just so luxe to me. My husband actually has a holiday party coming up and I'm planning on wearing this top with a blazer to just finish it off. And then for the more casual get togethers and stuff that I'm gonna be doing, especially in December, I have this pair of pants, but these are really fun because they are this really relaxed baggy jean. And I like these because they really cinch the waist and the hips, but then they flow out towards the bottom. And I love that look. I feel like it makes me look really, really tall. So those were a couple of examples of the outfits that I'm gonna be wearing for the holiday season. If you guys wanna see a little bit more on like outfits and get ready with me's and stuff, I would love to do that. Just let me know in the comments down below. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more. I know I focus mainly on makeup, but I really love talking about clothes and like fashion and stuff as well. So I just wanted to put a little bit of that info in here too. So the lipsticks that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video are in no particular order. They really are just my favorites from the year. I do have dedicated videos for most of these lipsticks that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video today. So I'll link those in the description box down below for you in case you wanna see more of the shades and you wanna see more in depth about like the formulations. My first favorite release of 2022 has to be these. These are the NYX Smooth Whips. These are matte lip creams. These are $8 and I purchased mine at Ulta and they come in 12 different shades. These are my two favorite which is Teddy Fluff and Latte Foam. I actually have a mixture of both of them on my lips right now. And I really, really enjoy these. I feel like these are kind of more of an elevated soft matte lip cream from NYX. I found that before in years past when I tried to wear the soft matte lip creams, they were very patchy. I felt like they didn't have great pigmentation. I would say that these are full pigmentation. I think that they are a great formulation 
section. There's no skipping, there's no patching. And the way that it feels on the lips is really nice and comfortable. I did like a pretty heavy swatch on this one right here. So you can kind of see the clumps of the velvet there or like the mousse. The applicator is really nice and it tapers in on the top. So it's easy to be precise with it. Whenever I wear these, I feel like it kind of just fills in my lip lines and I like the finish of it. It's sort of a matte finish but it has hydration to it if that makes sense so it doesn't look like a liquid lipstick where it looks like it's sucking like the hydration out of your lips these also don't bleed on the lip line i don't see any bleeding at all with these but i will say they are not transfer proof so whenever i'm eating i'm drinking or you know if i give my husband a kiss then it will transfer but you don't lose all of the color on your lips just keep that in mind but they are easy to reapply and they look fresh whenever you do the next product which i put on my lips right now is the makeup by mario moisture glow lip serum and i only have one shade in this this is in the shade bronze glow but i have worn this all throughout the year ever since i got it i've worn this non-stop honestly i love to wear this alone as you can see it gives you really great color payoff and it looks like a gloss but it gives you very very good pigmentation like a lipstick it has a minty cooling feeling because it is supposed to be more of a plumping lip product i don't really think it makes my lips plumper i haven't really worn it every single day in order to like you know feel that or notice that i i switch around a lot of lipsticks and lip products when something's plumping i prefer when it's cooling and minty versus when it's like hot this retails for 24 dollars. i purchased mine at sephora but you can also get it on makeup by mario's website there are 14 shades and they actually expanded the collection from when it first released they have high shine finish and they also have shimmer finishes now and when you wind it up you can't wind it down so keep that in mind you don't want to wind more than than you need but literally as soon as this touches skin it melts down into this super emollient balmy texture to the point where you kind of can see it melted all around that cap right there or the rim of the product you can wear this with a full face of makeup or you can wear this alone with nothing you know like you can just have a bare face or you can do minimal makeup it's a very versatile product and i really like that about it truly love it was such a game changer for me this year. The next lipsticks I wanna talk about are these Merit Signature Lightweight Lipsticks, and these are such beautiful lipsticks, and I find that they're super versatile. They're probably the most versatile ones on this list. I have two shades here today to show you guys. I have the shade Fashion and the shade Cabo. I actually really, really love. My top favorite is Tiger, but I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. First of all, this packaging is just like no other. I think that it's it's so beautiful it sits so nicely on a vanity and it looks so luxe whenever you take it out of your purse so these are $26 and I purchased mine from Sephora and there are eight shades and currently I'm wearing the shade fashion and I built this one up on my lips I really enjoy these because they look so effortless and they feel super comfortable there's something super minimal that Merit does so well like they do the minimalist look amazing like that's their whole brand i'm actually really happy with the shade range that they have even though they only have eight shades of this lipstick i feel like they really cover the bases of the berries the reds the the muted like nude shades you know and the fact that you can wear these in two different ways makes it so interesting and it kind of expands the range on its own i just feel like the finish of this is so nice and comfortable and it makes it look really wearable and just like these more bold shades are more wearable for an everyday look. I also really like the shape of the bullet. I don't exactly know how to explain it, but the best way I can explain it is it almost is like a duck bill to where when you put it on the lips, it's almost sitting flush and like flat on the lips. So it covers a lot of area in one go. And I like that. It gives really good color payoff as well. So this next product is not a lipstick, but I had to include it in this video because these lip oils were serious game changers for me once I started using them in August of this year. And they are the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lip oils. I have the shade Maple Drip and Petal Drip. It's not super clear. I couldn't exactly figure out when these launched. 
I'm almost positive it was in 2022, but I know that she expanded the range in summer of 2022. But Maple Drip has been my absolute favorite. As you can see, I have never used up a lip oil or lip gloss this much before. I don't think this quickly or at all so these retail for twenty dollars you can get them on Ulta's website but you can also get them on morphe's website and i know that i purchased petal drip whenever they were having like a 40 percent off sale so this is maple drip and i'm obsessed with the way that this looks and this feels some lip oils that i've used in the past kind of feel like they're just putting a layer of moisture or gloss on top of my lips and they don't actually sink into my lips and hydrate them and then once the lip oil fades I'm left with like crusty lips this is one of the lip oils that I have not had that problem with and I actually feel like it does hydrate the lips underneath I feel like it's the perfect amount of color payoff where it's a little bit sheer so it's not a super pigmented almost gloss like product they don't have any sort of tingling no minty feeling no um hot like tingly feeling either they're not sticky either which is really really great they are just an overall really amazing lip oil the next ones on the list are the most expensive ones that i have and it is the hourglass phantom glossy bombs i have the shade slip and trace and these are the only two that i own but i love these shades i think that they are so beautiful i'm wearing the shade trace right now and as you can see it kind of just adds a little bit of depth to my natural lip color and it has such amazing shine the reason why I think that these are one of the best launches of 2022 is one, I love a good slick packaging like this and once you wind this one up, just like that Makeup by Mario one, you can't wind it down so be careful about that. And this is also very emollient, however I feel like it holds its shape better than the Makeup by Mario one. That one is a little bit more melty while this one holds a little bit better. And these feel amazing on the lips. They feel like a lip oil, but when you put your lips together and you kind of rub them together, you can feel how creamy and luxe that lip product is. I love to just have this in my purse whenever I'm going out because it's an easy one to wear by itself or to layer with other products. They're not sticky, but they do have a little bit of um, a hold on the lips. I don't really know how to explain it. Like it feels like a lip oil and it feels like it's staying put whenever you put it on. Now it's not transfer proof, that's not what I'm saying. It feels like a substantial lip product, like it's going to stay on there and it's not gonna fade throughout the day. They do have a little bit of that minty feeling. It's not as strong as the Makeup by Mario one. And of course, because of the finish of this, whenever you reapply it, it just looks fresh and brand new. The next one I have on the list I'm actually wearing here as a stain and of course they are the Fenty Poutsicle Lip Stains. And these come in four shades, they're $24, you can get it at Sephora, I purchased mine at Sephora. You can get them Ulta and also on Fenty's website as well. And these are really fun because you can wear them as a glossy finish when you first put it on, you can wear full pigmentation and it'll give you a really nice glossy, very pigmented look or you can blot that gloss off and then wear it as a stain as I'm doing right now. I really like the stained look of these. I think it gives you great, great pigmentation. I don't think it's super patchy and typically I have trouble with darker berry shades like this on myself, but this one gives me really nice pigmentation. And the way that these feel on the lips as a stain, I don't feel like they're drying. If you've ever experienced stains you put on your lips and then they kind of like sink into the lips and they become dry, these are not like that at all. These almost feel like they still have a layer of hydration on top whenever you blot the gloss off. And I really like the texture and consistency of these right out of the tube. Whenever you're applying it, it just feels like water. It feels very, very lightweight, super watery and runny but it stays put like a regular lipstick or lip gloss would, you know? And then when you blot it off, it leaves you with a really nice hydrated layer as well as a really nice stain. My favorite shades are this one, Berry Banger, and My Type. I actually can't find my 
my type which <laughs> i can't find a lot of my lipsticks because they are honestly everywhere all the time and truly there are only four shades but i'm okay with that i feel like they covered the bases when it comes to popular lip stain colors i've seen everyone of every like complexion wear these and it looks they look so good on everybody so i think they're super versatile i think they're really fun to have and honestly this tube is gonna last you forever and lastly are my current favorites because they're probably the newest launch of all of the lipsticks that i mentioned today but they are the maybelline vinyl ink nude shades specifically the nude collection that they recently came out with i did a whole video swatching all of those for you these retail for 11.99 and i purchased mine on ulta's website and they currently have 25 shades i think including this new collection which is of course not surprising when it comes to maybelline because they're very good with an extensive shade range of lip products I'm wearing the shade Punchy right now, and as you can see, it does have a bit of a gloss, but it is very pigmented. It almost feels like a liquid lipstick, but it has that gloss to it as well. And I wore this shade and this lip product during our friend's giving at our friend's house, and I think I wore it for about nine hours, and it looked fresh all night. I did end up reapplying after we ate and drank for a while just because I just felt like I wanted a little bit more gloss, but the actual shade and pigmentation of the lipstick was still there but punchy is my absolute favorite of all 25 shades and then the runner-up i would have to say is the shade extra and this is the shade extra i just really love the way that this kind of elevates a look i love the darkness of this red i like how it's kind of like a brick red but the gloss just gives it a little extra something that makes it a little fancier for the holidays so the reason i love these i feel like this formulation was such a good addition to that long wear glossy lipstick um, category, I guess. So you have the ones from NYX. Revlon also had some. CoverGirl also had some. And there are tons like in the market, but I truly feel like the Maybelline ones are the best for me because as I wear them, they don't like feather out. They don't crack on the inside of my lips, which is a big problem that I have with those types of lipsticks. I feel like they start looking really, really dry after a while, especially when the gloss tends to fade. The best part I think is that they reapply on themselves really nicely. They look fresh and I'm ready to go. And that wraps up all of the lipsticks that I wanted to talk about in this video. That was everything for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if we had any of the same favorite lipstick launches of 2022. It's really fun to look back, and especially at the beginning of the year, like look back at all of the lip products that I really enjoyed and really loved throughout the entire year. As someone that tests out a lot of lipsticks, it's hard to narrow these things down, but I really feel confident about the ones that I included in this video today. And if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful or informative, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.